Will the Private Preservation Commission please come to order? Ms. Morgan, please call the roll. Chairman Langley, Vice Chair Price. Here. Ms. Barrett. Hello. Ms. Cheeves. Ms. Davis. Here. Ms. Kirkpatrick. And Mr. Smith. Okay, we have a quorum. Uh, we've got two items on the agenda today, a certificate of appropriateness. We'll take that first. Mr. Moffitt is the petitioner concerning alterations and repair at 161 West Main Street. If you would sign in with Ms. Morgan and then just tell us a little bit about what you, you want to do. Oh, I said <coughs> if you'd sign in over here and then just tell us what you would like to do. Yes, sir. Okay. You're on. You want me to entertain questions and just tell you what we're doing? Well, <clears throat> I think most people know that that building is over 100 years old, and the bricks in the front, some of them above the door, were starting to crumble, and this was happening two or three years ago or longer. I removed the awning because it was collecting the sand, and I didn't want that to fall on somebody. And... I approached quite a few people on, on the proper repair, and nobody seemed to have an answer. And I finally talked to some uh, an engineer, and he suggested that we put plyboard up there just to hold the thing and make a sandwich out of it. And that's what we started. Mr. Duke said we needed an architect. I consider it minor repair because it's not structure, and we were going to try to retain the same face that it had before. That's about all there is to it. And uh, we'll probably paint it the same color, even though I don't like that color, but uh, <laughs> it was the ugliest building on the street, and I, I'd like to spruce it up a little bit. Anybody have any questions for Mr. Moffitt? Um, this, you said this is the same material. It looks like the, it originally was painted brick. It's not plywood, is it? It's, it's, it's treated plyboard. We're making a wall to keep any sand from falling. And very little to none has fallen since we uh, originally took the awning down. Because mm -hmm. when it falls, it falls on the city property or the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. And I did that to prevent it from falling on somebody's head. And uh, to fix the brick as they are without tearing the whole face down, would, this is the only way we can fix it to keep it from, if it crumbles, it's gonna stay in there, see? Like a, like a sandwich. And we'll cover that up and uh, duplicate the front the, as near original as we can. The structure, we've, we've looked at it from both front and rear and it's strong and, it, and I think it would be a very costly mistake to try to tear the building down at this time to redo it. I, it's, it's, it's amazing how strong it is. And uh, uh, if, you, if you guys have any other color you'd like to paint that building, let me know because I'm... Uh, so 
I understand that the, that's not a requirement, but if you have any suggestions, I'd be happy to follow them. Okay, thank you, Mr. Moffitt. Sir? Thank you. Thank you. Is there any more questions? I do have a question. On the, the plywood that's already in place, did you say that would be a permanent fixture or temporary? This fixture, the, what we're doing now? The plywood that's up there, is well, that temporary or permanent? Board and it, it's, it should resist any uh, deterioration for a long time. I can't guarantee how long, but it's, it's better than having brick fall up, crumble out with the water hitting them. No, that's true. That's true. And they're bolted through with through bolts. Five, mm -hmm. six inch through bolts is rated at least 300 pounds capacity. And uh, with more than, uh, there's less than 30 pounds on each boat. Was there, was there any cost estimate done or any, uh, any attempt to retain the existing masonry? I'm sorry, I, I can't understand. Was there any attempt to try to keep the brick that's up there now? And the, the ply board will be totally covered, sealed in the, the stair foam and the plaster. Like well, some of the other I understand ones. that. Uh, my question was just, has there been any attempt or any, 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 your engineer that you're using, has he looked at the cost of um, rehabilitating that brick facade and keeping the masonry, like repointing the masonry and, and, and keeping it as is? Well, it, uh, we'd have to cover the front of the plowboard with a, a brick paneling. They had a brick mason that he asked him to say it would not be feasible or not safe, if you will. I'm sorry, I have a hard time That's fine. That's fine. Uh, so does Gray. Has a hard time hearing. My, my hearing is severely damaged. Mm -hmm. um, so you did have a mason look at it. Yeah, yeah, we've had lots of people look at it, but nobody had a real solution. And, and the solution is to stop anything from falling first. And then we can decorate it most anyway. Uh, there's a, a covering that duplicates bricks, but uh, that can go over the plywood. But we plan to waterproof it in the whole nine yards. I would like to. I mean, I would like to see. I mean, I wish it was in this report. Um, some documentation from the mason that you talked to that said it wouldn't be feasible. You know, that would that would help if we if we could see that. You know, from a, a professional brick mason that says we can't put it back. If I get closer, you get away from that mic. It sounds mm -hmm. like a, I know the drum on there. Mm -hmm. It would it would it would help us if, and I I, I think it would help. If the brick mason that you talked to, there was some kind of documentation in here from him saying that putting the redoing the masonry redoing is not feasible. The brick, well, we, the whole thing is sand, and the only way we could we could take the bricks is pull them out on the sidewalk or tear the whole face down. I mean, everything is in good shape except that some of the bricks chipped off, and after a hundred and foot year, that's not bad. Not, it's not, not bad at all. It's not. So I'd, I'd prefer to leave well enough alone and just beef it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you understand the sandwich we talked about. Yes, sir. It's, it's no structure on the plywood. There's no support. It's just to hold the sand in if it do, does turn loose. But after I took the awning down, there was a bag of 50, 60 pounds of sand up there that accumulated over the years. Didn't want that to fall off the metal. I'd like to go back with a metal one. Um, I see. I see what you're saying. Um, it's just <coughs> the bricks. And the, the downtown brick is is pretty important to the to the facade of downtown. Do anything in the size of the brick. You can tell me how to fix the sand brick. Well, just to replace. To replace the brick would be would be the first option, I think. Well, I don't, if it's not structured, all we want to do is keep it from falling and design the front of the building to match the rest of the stuff down there. Mm -hmm. We don't. We're not trying to make any kind of 
understand that. That's why I wanted to just kind of keep it certain. We don't make a whole lot of money at all. Right now. I understand. I understand, but uh, it's kind of the that's kind of the, the the trap to get into in the downtown in, in the downtown area, especially here on Main Street, is that the first the first priority is to maintain the image of, of Main Street, and if that means replacing brick, that's got to be the first. And we item. have certain <laughs> rules we have to follow. Sand. I think it's Sound. a major mistake to tear something down that's over 100 years old. Well, I, I'm not for tearing down anything, uh, but uh, well, you like I said, tear it down if you're going to replace it. Like I said, what you what you put up there though is looks like would be the fourth or fifth option. The the, the bolt throughs with the plyboard. To me, that would be a last resort for the downtown historic mm -hmm. area. Okay. And so. We would need but to see. My board is not going to show. I understand, okay. but but also styrofoam on top of it, right? Well, that's for the, for the plaster to stick. And plaster. Okay. Yeah. And it'll, it'll, it'll actually match some of the other buildings if we do it that way. We can put a false brick panel over the plaid and then do it that way. I have no objections. I'm just trying to keep it serviceable. You, you probably don't know me, but I'm the first one to update the building on Main Street. I did not know that. No, no. It's next to that building, and, and uh, I'm the guy that built the porch down there. Mm -hmm. Very old porch. I am. I don't want any junk around there, but, uh, you know, in order for me to get something done, it, it, I have to do it when I can. So you also did the modifications to the building next to the build next to Patsy's Pins and Needles, right? Modification to the building? No, the front of that. Modified. The front of that? The front oh, facade? We covered up some of the rotten boards up there. That's, is that a, if that's minor maintenance. That yeah. plaster that you just done there? Yeah. That was you? Okay. That's, I, li I like that stuff. It looks good. It's down on the building on the end of the street. Mm -hmm. And uh, it seems to be durable. It's on a new good place out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I investigated that a long time. Like a stucco compound? Is it like a right. like a like what I'd call a stucco? Yeah, it's but a smooth it's, stucco finish. It's not rough finish. It's it's sandy looking finish. Mm -hmm. and, and most of the buildings downtown is finished that way. Yeah, the building adjacent to Patsy's is done just like that. The old uh, Goodwill building. The old the old Taekwondo building, right? That was well, a Taekwondo. That's the one that he's talking about that one. Right, but we're talking about the building next to that, right? Now, the town is, I'm, let me tell you a little story about the building next door you're going to hear. The guy wanted to rent it and paint it red, white, and blue. And I said, well, that's okay with me as long as you follow the guidelines and be careful. Right. <laughs> that can call worse. Anyway, when the tour, George Walthall came up to my office with raising cane about it. Red, white, and blue. I said, George, I told you, whatever color he wanted, as long as it complied with you guys' rules. When he told the front off, it was red, white, and blue. You can't read the sign. Oh, jeez. <laughs> George didn't like me after that. <laughs> okay, thank you, Mr. Moffitt. Huh? Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? Yes, no, sir. We'll make it look good. I, I like it. I believe you. That's right. Okay. Uh, Ms. Duke, have you got a staff report? No, sir, I don't have much more to add other than to just talk to you about your, your guidelines, and I think most of you have kind of talked into that with this, with your questioning. The, um, your guidelines basically recognize that masonry structures are, are primary to, to your downtown, to your uh, Main Street and Court Street 
sections of downtown, uh, the commercial buildings that is, um, and recognizes that keeping those is an important, or keeping the brick facades is important to uh, retaining the historic appearance of the buildings. Um, in, in this particular case, um, the, the city basically stopped work on uh, what uh, Mr. Moffat was doing to, to put the plywood on the facade and asked him to come before you uh, to, to get that approved. Um, the, the, re the requested action, in my opinion, does not meet your guidelines. Um, I think your guidelines are pretty specific about trying to repair the masonry. Uh, I think there's some question about whether or not that's feasible. Uh, this is a previously painted uh, masonry that the, the paint has uh, deteriorated to the point that water has gotten in behind it a little bit, which has kind of further deteriorated the brick. So mm -hmm. I think there probably needs to be some assessment. Um, we're having a little conversation on the side. I apologize about what, since they've been in, in and looked at these walls, I, I think they have a pretty good idea of what's there. It, it, it appears to me that th these are structural walls, or they should be. It should be brick all the way through, and from inside, I mean, outside to in. And uh, it, I would believe, I would think that these bricks can be basically cut out, replaced, mortared back in, in, in place. Um, that, and that is, the, that is the proper way that your guidelines describe maintaining these structures. Now, since it's been painted before, and you're also trying to match up dissimilar bricks, then painting it again would probably be the best way to handle that. It would it would seal the bricks that are that are old and probably going to deteriorate, and it would keep from having to, to match exactly with the new brick. So painting the structure is not an issue. Right. It's just keeping it with the, the brick appearance. Thank you. Yes, sir. Question. Yes, ma'am. Is a, is a waterproofing product that would seal that in and stop the deterioration of the bricks? That, that, that would be a, a, that might be a reasonable solution. I think you need to look at some of the, the bricks that have de deteriorated. They actually. And create and become concave. Mm -hmm. Those, mm -hmm. those probably need to be replaced because uh, even if you put a product up there, it may continue to deteriorate because there's not much of a. Uh, I'm not a brick expert, and I'm not going to try to be standing here. But as I understand it, these bricks are, are basically different than modern bricks. They're not not fired all the way through, and once that first couple of. Uh, you know, quarter inch of the brick mm -hmm. is gone, then the inside is, is very uh, powdery and uh, de comes, decays pretty fast. So what you want to do is try to arrest that probably by taking those, those bricks that are deteriorated the most out and replace them. Then you can go back with something like what's put on the Musgrove building, which is a, um, is a paint, but it's really more of a, a sealer. Waterproofer. There is such a product, yes, there, there is, but even that would not be adequate for the badly deteriorated. That bricks. would really, you'd have to talk to the product rep on, on, on something like that to understand what they consider to be the limitations of the product, and we can certainly explore that. Um, in dealing with Mr. Musgrove's building and trying to understand that product, we've, mm -hmm. we've developed some relationships with those guys, and, and, and certainly we can call them up. I'm sure they would come down and consult just in hopes of selling their product. But, oh, of course. <laughs> but yeah. we, I can't answer whether or not that would work. It might be beyond the, the specifications for that product. Mm -hmm. Might not be an adequate solution. It, it, it probably arrested for a time, but it probably would not last mm -hmm. the warranty time period. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yes, sir. Mr. Chairman, I, I am leaning to and would like us to discuss the possibility of getting more information about what else can be done. I, I agree that maybe we, we don't have 
the other option i see that replacing all the brick would be very expensive i'd like for us to think about what we like gathered and i'm not i may not be enough of an expert to know but i'd i'd like to table this um until we can get more information but i kind of think we need to be specific in what information we need i mean i don't want to make a motion to table it until i know what i need to ask for yes sir before we vote the table i feel that based on the guidelines of the city i feel like the plywood veneer is not an acceptable solution okay thank you mr smith is there do you are you making a motion to table my Ms. motion Davis. is that the plywood veneer based on the guidelines is totally not an acceptable solution okay but do we have a motion on the floor no not yet we don't are you making a motion to deny no, I'm, well no i'm letting you know my feelings that i personally as part of this committee feel that it's not an acceptable solution okay uh, okay but that's not a motion no <clears throat> but this the, the the plywood would not be the would not be the the facade that's that there's there will be a facade in front of the plywood right is that correct um so that wouldn't be what you see that's just the kind of the glue holding the bricks together for now and that would be a permanent that, that's not that wouldn't be coming down you'd just be putting a facade over that plywood structure holding the bricks together mm-hmm Well, it's not the purpose of this commission to put a hardship on business owners by any stretch. But what we do need to see is documentation of that. If you've got, if you've talked to a mason, to a professional brick person, um, installer, we need to see information from him, a letter from him stating um, the the cost involved uh, and th and uh, the feasibility or non feasibility of doing something like that. If you can provide that and and possibly another alternative that, that is more in line with the guidelines of this commission um, then then I think we can work with you but right now there's no information in here other than there's a piece of uh, wood a wood board bolted to the to the wall up there Okay. Well, uh, yes, sir. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't hear all of that and didn't understand it. Was
May I jump in? Yes. Um, all I see here is two sheets of plywood. We don't have a clue. We don't have a clue what the final product's going to look like. Sir? We need all we see. If you
But I, I, I can't complete it and take a picture of it if you don't like it. If, if this fly board continues on, which we plan to do, then the rest of it could be filled up like any other store you want, mm -hmm. including the, the fake brick paneling. You've seen that? before it is, looks like uh, regular brick. It's just plyboard with brick pieces on it. If you want brick, it doesn't bother me one way or another. I just I just wanted to get this to say. But you would retain these, yeah, these uh -huh. bars, yes, these architectural designs. It would, it would protrude elements. out. All we have to do is put the styrofoam on top of that and make it out the same thickness and then plaster. And the whole brick, the whole building would look like stucco or the sand finish rather than a brick. Mm -hmm. Now the brick are very ugly where they're painted. Yeah. They're not, it's not yeah. a pretty building any way you look <laughs> at it. So that's, that's what my plans were. Excuse me. Uh, <clears throat> since we don't have a final drawing showing what this product will look like, nor do we have materials, I would make a motion that we disapprove the, the plywood panels it's not being appropriate for the design for downtown Prattville. There's a motion to disapprove by Mr. Smith. Is there a second? Is there a second? Motion dies due to lack of a second. Is there another motion? I'm motioning that we table this to the next meeting based on based on acquiring more information, um, cost estimates to replace the original brick, and alternatives that are more in line with our guidelines. If there's going to be a stucco finish, plaster finish like you say, we need to know what that looks like ahead of time. Not not just what not just your description of it. We need an image. And and that's what that's what we need. That's what we need in order to have a, a proper discussion on this. I think. If that's if that's what you're willing to, then then we then that would be great. That would be great if we could see that. If we could see that. Correct. Okay, there's a motion to uh, table. This is not an easy problem. I, I hate to dump it on anybody. Right. We're trying to work with you on this. I mean, we want, we want it to be. Now, this is the same building that's up with the back porch on. Are you familiar with the porch? Yes. Yes. Okay, there's a motion on the floor right at this point. Is is there a second to the motion? I second the motion. There's a motion and a second. We're just going to have some more information. There's a motion and a second. All in favor of the motion to table? In discussion of this motion. Discussion. I think that we um, definitely need some more information. I think that that may be staff could get with Mr. Moffat and let him know exactly what we need. Um, Mr. Smith pointed out that, you know, we, we need some kind of verification that the water's not going to go like down behind this ply, ply board. You know, how, what's the top going to be done? How's it going to be sealed at the top or the sides? We, we just don't, we need the specifics and the details. Okay, Mr. Mr. Barrett made a motion to that effect, pretty much. Can we rehear that motion again? Okay. Yes. Well, I, a motion that we table this to the next meeting. 
and, the, and that the applicant comes with more information. And that includes an estimate on the replacement of the brick that needs to be, that, that, is, that is crumbling, um, and, a, and, a, and a note, a letter from, from your brick professional that is stating whether or not it's feasible to do that or not. Um, also, an alternative that's more in line with the, with, the, with the guidelines of the Historical Preservation Commission. If you're going to do a plaster, a plaster stucco style finish, we need that picture in the documentation, so that because it's not it's not our it's not our in our guidelines to do that. So if there's going to be something that goes against that, we need to have a lot of documentation so we don't establish a precedent. Yes, that Mr. can be done Mr. for you. Mr. Duke will work with you on that. Can be done for you. Right. Replacement, repair, and the plaster finish. Mr. Moffitt, M Mr. Duke will, will assist you. Mr. Duke will assist you with that. Okay. There's a motion to table on the floor and a second. Is all in favor of tabling the motion? Aye. 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 All in, any opposed? Okay. Uh, motion approved uh, to table. Is the, 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 the motion is tabled. Is that right? I'm not used to sitting here. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you, Mr. Moffitt. And uh, all we're trying to do is, is follow the guidelines that we have to. This is, this is a complex problem. Mm -hmm. I understand. I understand. Yes, sir. Okay, Mr. Duke will help. I understand he won't. He won't have to put up the fifty dollars again. You won't have to put up another fee since we tabled it. Thank you very much. What? Would we have to do it at the next meeting, or we give him? I mean. The next is that we, we meet the fourth Thursday of every month at, at 4.30. We'll, Mr. Price, we'll, we'll aim for having what you, you need at the next meeting, working with Mr. Moffitt, but you always have the ability to table it again. So okay, it's, okay. It's not a problem. Okay, thank you. A month from today. Okay. Okay, thank you all for coming. Thank you, Mr. Moffitt. Okay, thank you. Okay, next item on the agenda is a certificate of appropriateness uh, to place a chimney chase to front of a roof's ridge. Mr. Kennington, if you would sign in, please, and then uh, tell us what you want to do. Yes, sir. Go ahead. We just are installing the fireplace, and you know, got to have a chimney, you know. And, you know. Um, okay. It's going to be. Uh, Let me. In front of the ridge cap, it's going to be about 30 inches high. Uh, we want to construct it out of a cement board and with a concrete finish, smooth concrete finish, you know, and then paint it. And the house is half brick. And half lap side, and, and then when we we'll paint the uh, the chimney to match the uh, lap side, you know. And Is there something up there now? I think it's just drawn in there. Oh, you just drawn in. But you have to go back this to the machine. May I ask a question? Is the moving of the chimney to the front of the ridge because of because where the, of the fireplace is?
Mm -hmm. Okay. And, okay. I see. Okay, what are the wishes of the commission? Are there any more questions on the staff report? Excuse me. Okay, thank you, Mr. Kenny. But does anybody have any more questions for? Okay. Uh, Y'all are doing fine. Uh, this one is not, um, is, is certainly not complex. Um, the, the house at 125 East 5th Street, according to the tax office, is a recent infill development, 1986 is what they listed as. Uh, I would tend to ag agree with that. Um, well, 5th Street is in the district. This, this house is not a contributing structure to the district or the National Register. So as you've had with other properties like this, there's a good bit of leeway. So uh, the rule of thumb has generally been if it is compatible in mass and, and form with the structure that it's, it's being modified and it's not detrimental to the district. And I do not believe what is proposed here is, is detrimental. Is everybody familiar with what we're talking about? This is a prefab fireplace, um, basically has a, a chimney that penetrates the roof, it would look more like a, a uh, heating vent. And they're proposing to basically cover that with a, a facade, okay? That looks more like a traditional chimney. So th that's what we're, we're talking about here is it's, it, it's, not, a, it's not brick, it's not a built up chimney, this is just a-, a Metal. The, the actual chimney itself is, right. is metal. Right. And they're going to put a, a they're gonna case that uh, with, with a, with a fire, make sure I'm right, Mr. Kenning, and that's gonna be a, a fiber board. Yeah. yeah. It's kinda like hardy plank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And- It'll look good. And look, I believe, appropriate for the house. And the height is appropriate, and it's just enough to shield that or to, to put a facade around that uh, metal chimney. I know we don't deal with color, but what color is it going to be? <laughs> any, more, any more discussion? There's a motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor to grant the certificate of appropriateness uh, for this item, please say aye. aye. Any opposed? All right. A certificate of appropriateness has been granted, Mr. Pennington. Kennington. Well, come sit by your fire. <laughs> uh, is there any more business to come before this commission? Is there a motion to adjourn? Is there a motion to adjourn? Yeah. Motion. Okay, a motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Move. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Commission is adjourned. Thank you.